and we back. The 76ers just got eliminated from the playoffs, and I'm here to complete the process. To see one versus seven, then two versus eight in the conference finals is very 2K, but of course it's happening in the real life. We got the Celtics versus the Nuggets. 2K, let us know who gonna win. It will be the Celtics, according to 2K. Boom, you know exactly what this roster looks like. It's MVP Joel Embiid, it's James Harden, who is a free agent. Uh, there's rumors that he want to go back to Houston. I am thinking sign and trade. We got uh, uh, Tyrese Maxey, 22-year-old stud who should only get better. We got Tobias Harris making $39.27 million. I want this man off the team. Too much money for not enough productivity. Then we got D'Anthony Melton, who was a very good role player for them this season, but obviously just a role player. And then the rest of the roster is non-guarantees. And then we also got uh, P.J. Tucker, who in this game came came to play. He had 11 points in the first quarter. And then I realized he ended with 11. Oh, uh, huh. Mm, I forget, didn't, didn't realize that he didn't score for three. <laughs> I didn't realize he didn't score for three. My goal is to complete the process for Sam Hankey, man. All right? So that's what I'm thinking. I want to remind people, when, do, when we do these videos, these are not hyper-realistic videos. We are not here... To, to tell the 76ers exactly what to do in order to win a championship. But these are just my suggestions. And again, it's not it's not going to be realistic at all. All right, cool. Let's go to these league meetings. It's going to get rid of everything. Who's getting evicted with Miyama? It will be the Blazers? Dame and, and Vic? All right. Okay. Number one thing on my priority list is to re-sign James to flip him to the other team, another team. I just got to figure out what team makes the most sense where he'll go on a sign and trade, but also the other team can use his services as a point guard slash shooting guard. I mean, he can still play off the ball quite a bit, but I'm looking around the league and it's, it is, it's, a, it's a tough scene. I tell you that much. I, it's a tough scene. It feels like every team has their point guard. If they don't have a point guard, then they're a rebuilding team. So, like, why would they trade for 30-plus-year-old James Harden? This is actually going to be tougher than I anticipated. Um... Oh, the Houston Rockets. I mean, not the Houston Rockets. Well, the Houston Rockets might be uh, involved, but the Washington Wizards might be interested. Now, they got their own things to worry about for show uh, with these two dudes uh, being free agents. We'll cross that bridge in a second. We already know that the Trailblazers won the lottery. Okay, okay. I don't even know if we have a pick. I think we have to go into here and fire Coach Doc Rivers. I believe that you'll probably get fired in real life. Maybe by the time this video is coming out, uh, he's already has. Nick Nurse is sitting here. I want, Nick, I want Nick Nurse. I want Nick Nurse for sure. And hopefully he signs and he does. Okay, so we got our new guy. It's Nicky Nurse. And hopefully he can help us get to that next chapter, get through the process. Because right now we've been pro processing for over a decade, my guy. All right, so we do have a, a pick. Is it a first round? Is it a second round? I don't know. We just need people and assets. This looks like a second round pick. We'll take Kobe Jones just because he is the best, highest projected player. Um, so we loaded in someone else's draft or someone else's save file and they got themselves in it. So, or oh no, is that a real dude? No. What is he doing? All right, I got to restart. All right, so now that we restarted, the, the loser of all of this um, is the Portland Trailblazers, man. In that last simulation, they had Victor Wimanyama and now, now they won't. Um, oh, and the Nuggets because the Nuggets were in the finals and now the Lakers are there. And we get Lakers come back from down three run. LeBron James does it for a second time coming back down three run. Okay, so if the Blazers don't win the championship, I'm sorry, the lottery this year, blame that guy whose file I just I just downloaded because he is the reason why you don't you didn't win. All right, all right, ended up being the Rockets this time around. <laughs> I think it gives them more of a reason to sign our guy James, bro. What the heck? Uh, Trailblazers all the way down to seven. Oh man, I'm sorry, Blazers fans. It wasn't up to me. And if it was, I would have kept it to original because I like the idea of y'all jumping up. Um, so let's do our thing again. Oh, Nick Nurse is not even here. Dude, Nick Nurse is not even... Nick Nurse, I'm, I'm making... I'm gonna make them fire Nick Nurse because I <laughs> really like the idea of Nick Nurse being my coach. I won't lie. So let me go ahead and do that. So he actually wasn't the coach of the Raptors anymore. So someone else picked him up before I had a chance. Which don't make sense because I waited until the beginning of the next period. So I, I don't know how they got in to talk to him before me. I was going to offer him a bag. An absolute massive bag. Yep, he's not there. All right, well, I tried. You can't, hey, you can't say it's lack of effort. I called his phone as much as anybody else, but he decided to go somewhere else, which is fine. But that's fine. I don't know why Taylor Jenkins is always just a free agent when it comes to coaching. I'm going to go get Monty Williams, though. Um, another one of the best coaches available. Um, so shout out to Monty. All right, now we go to the dra draft. Uh, I'll see you free agent because that's what this video really starts. Trying to figure out what we do with James. Oh my God, Wimby dropped to three. What are y'all? They don't want James Harden anymore. So they drafted a point guard. Wimby fell to three. Oh, they 
we can't. What is the mind? Oh, we got Derek Lively, by the way. Um, they. I cannot believe what I just saw. I ain't gonna complain. Because that means one less team that's going to be trying to steal away our point guard. All right? One less team. Um, but he does have six offers. And, yeah, none of them are good. So, I will sign. Oh, that is a huge contract for a 33-year-old. Um, let's try to save a little bit of money. Let's say 38. I mean, he's not going to be on my table much longer anyway. You know, what I'm saying? you know what I'm saying? So, let's give him a 38 to start off with. Boom. He's going to sign that. And then now we can start thinking about signing trades. Um, I mean, fake signing trades. Because you can't do a signing trade in 2K. All right, what team, again, could be using a guy like him right now? Would the Pelicans be interested? Well, what do they have that I would be interested in? You know what I'm saying? The idea of Brandon Ingram, Zion, and and um, and James Harden signs kind of cool, though. Like, if I take back CJ McCollum, I, I was more thinking about the point our point guard position being the dude that's going to set people up. Obviously, CJ is not that type of point guard. He's more of a score-first point guard. He's a versatile offensive force, according to 2K. Um, but obviously, we're losing value because James Harden's, what, five overalls better than that? So we'd want him and, and then they got all these young dudes who I'm sure they wouldn't want to part ways with. What am I doing right now? James Harden goes to the Suns. Montrezl Harrell goes to the Hawks. And Daniel House goes to the Suns. Chris Paul comes here on the last year of his deal. Even though in real life, this contract is partially guaranteed to like 15 million, whatever. DeAndre Aiden goes to Atlanta. And then Click Appella goes to the Suns and we get John Collins. So we walk out of this with Chris Paul and John Collins potentially. Do I love it? No. Do anybody love oh, it? That, that was a three teamer. Oh my God, I should have got some picks. I should have got some picks or something. No way we just had a three teamer work on the first try. That, that, that is something. I, oh my God, did I not realize that John Collins is down to a 78 overall? I've had simulations where he was all the way up to an 83. So I'm not completely sure what that's about. Oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss. We're going to keep it moving. We did it. We traded it. We signed a trade to James Harden to get Chris Paul, who again, this contract is only guaranteed for 15 million. So best believe I'm going to put it on the books for 15 million right now. He, if we can, where's the contract? I guess we can't change this contract right now. We'll do that once the season starts. Um, so our backcourt is going to be small, man. I mean, we're, unless we go find somebody to have Tyrese Max to be a super six man, I still have to buy his Harris on the roster, which again is something I don't want long term. So let's go figure out if we can convince somebody to take thirty nine million dollars to buy his Harris. So I'm trying to look at my options. The first option is Bojan Bogdanovic for Bojan Bogdanovic for to buy his Harris straight up works one extra year in his contract. He's an eighty two. Demar Derozan has the last year of his deal. I don't know what the direction of the Bulls is looking like, but I have an extra first round pick I could potentially throw them and I could even give them Derek Lively. I don't, if they looking towards the rebuild, he's a young player. Um, so that's another option. You got to remember that's a th uh, like $39 million is a ton of money. But the good thing about it is an expiring deal. So like if a team like them want to give me Maxi Kleba on the longer deal plus to, uh, Tim Hardaway Jr., in some cases, that might be good enough. You know what I'm saying? Just so they can get the long-term contract relief with him being expiring. And we could get TH8, THJ, and he could be a player for us. But also, they don't give a lot of love to uh, Cle uh, Maxi Kleber in this game. So, like, 70, he's going to be a 73 overall at the end of the year. I I'm not trying to do that one. I'm going to try the DeMar DeRozan one first. They're going to say no, obviously. Um, hmm. Our team is very, very scarce right now. Um, give them Derek Lively. Three, oh, he's not valuable. And then we have one unprotected for next season. I, this is going to be a hodgepodge group of people. With, no, you know what? That's not worth it because both of these guys are old, first of all. And second of all, they're both on the last year of their deal. So, like, they both can walk and then we just looking at each other like, Joel, we, at that point, we got to trade JoJo because we ain't got nothing around him other than Tyrese Maxey. I'm going to see if I can make this trade happen. Uh, they want an unprotected pick, and they go give us Davis Bertans as if that's an asset. Uh, I, I mean, I looked around the league, and I just can't find somebody. And part of me is like, okay, we just bring Toby back and maybe use him at the deadline because because it's such a large amount of money, man. And I'm looking at these these younger rebuilding teams, and I can't convince myself that they're worth it either. Um, we do have the Bojan Bogdanovic one. He's one overall better and three years older. So I'm like, is that really holding value? I might genuinely bring Toby back 
and the, with the idea of maybe moving him at the deadline. So, you know what? Let's just stick to that idea. Every move doesn't have to be done right now. So we also use the offseason to use our mid-level exception to bring in Dylan Brooks. I know he's like the most hated man in NBA Twitter right now. But he's still a quality NBA player that just made an all-defensive team. We need defensive wings, especially if we're going to move Tobias Harris at the deadline. We need somebody that could potentially take that spot. We brought in... Javon Carter to play some backup point guards, Yuta the shooter to play some backup power four. And we also brought in Patrick Beverly, who may never play for us. We do have injuries on, so he might get a little bit of burn. But we need somebody that's going to get under people's skin. And that's the way I see Patrick Beverly. We're a small team. Let's be real. We're a small team up top. You know, when we go against some of those good teams that have multiple good guards, it's going to be rough. Definitely going to be rough. But Chris Paul only regressed by one, which we which we'll take. Um, John Collins is up to an 80, which we'll take. This is not maybe the championship team that Joel Embiid is, is used to just because we don't have a secondary superstar. But maybe that's okay for the time being. We're going to rely on some of these other dudes to really showcase some things. We need Tyrese Maxey to step it up. I think, I mean, he's, he's been very good for his, the, all of his career. But this is the time when he can potentially turn into that, that second option. Um, we're going to simulate and see how it goes. While we here, let me increase... Maxi's shot tendency and his touch tendency because we want him to get a lot of opportunities. I'm still at a loss for words that we attempted that three teamer and it worked. You know, I, I don't know if I've ever attempted a three teamer and it just went perfectly. That was the first time ever. Being really good in the regular season is not the, the initial goal, but we are 30 and 19 around the deadline, which is dope. Oh my God, there's so many really good teams out east. We are the five seed with that record. All right, but that's cool. Um, we did, like I said, I do want to look around the league and see. If we can find something for Tobias Harris, the Bulls are rebuilding again. Um, DeMar DeRozan is having one heck of a season. I think we might have to. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna add him to the list. We might get him a call, man. We might get him a call. We also got like Gordon Hayward potentially. Just if we talk in contracts that match up, probably losing a lot of value there. The Jazz are whoa. Oh, I saw M. Bridges and forgot My uh, that Miles Bridges even existed. I genuinely forgot he existed. I was like, how the heck did they get McHale? Uh, nah, that's not it. The Knicks are buying even though they're the, even though they're the 14th seed. <laughs> they're the 14th seed saying, hey, we want more assets. We, we're trying to win this season. Um, so this trade is probably still there. They are starting Sekou Nabuya. Oh, Sekou Nabuya because Christian Wood broke his ankle. Um, they got Kelly Oubre on the team too, but they're selling. And Kelly Oubre can run some three. He's having a bad shooting season though, so maybe we're not really interested in him. Um, but that's an option, I guess. Good thing we didn't trade for Bogdanovich. He dropped by two. Or was that the... Wait, wasn't he like an 84? I don't know. He dropped by a lot. So good thing we didn't trade for him because we'd have been looking at ourselves like, man, why the heck did we pull that trigger? Uh, another selling team here. They got Josh Hart on the team. That's an interesting character to potentially add to the team. Um, and they're selling. So, I mean, they don't have a lot of things that we're super interested in, but Josh Hart is one of them. He's having a poor shooting season too, so maybe not. But I'll add them to the list, I guess. So we helped the Phoenix Suns, and they are the two seed. I mean, their starting lineup looks good. Now, they're starting a rookie in Chris Murray. Um who's averaging two points per game. So who was starting before that then? I mean, probably Darius Baisley and moving Kevin up back up to the three. But their three stars are doing, I mean, they're, oh my God, 28 for him, 28 for him, and 32 for him. Did I build them the perfect team low key? That's, that's how you know if we got finessed. We'll see who win the championship first. Best believe we'll see who win the championship first. And then now we got the Blazers selling as well. Um, The Blazers... I mean, they have Harrison Barnes, Nazir Little, like some some valuable bench pieces, but nothing that, that we look at our fans and be like, hey, this is the piece. The piece might be DeMar. Now, the, the overall game changes a ton when DeMar is one of your star dudes, but he's averaging 25 a game. He's 34 years old, and last year for his deal, we, we might be able to figure it out. So I'm going to I'm gonna try it. Now, we're going to be a, a mid-range heavy team with Chris Paul and him on the roster, Toby this season averaging 16 on, on okay splits or whatever. They got to make up 4 million. Let's see what else they got on this team worth 4 million. Uh, oof. Um, give us give us DJJ and then we give you back we give you back Derek Lively and that the, the numbers are going to be messed up. Bro, I, I hate when the numbers are off by just this much. What if I somehow get Caruso? Last year of his deal too. So the bull oh team option. Oh, team option. Woo! Hey, we got back for another year. Um, as Caruso, obviously, his counter stats are not where he gets his value. Oh, my God, he's awful. Um, that's not where you get his value. It's the defense. He made an all-defensive first team. I don't know. Does that translate to 2K? Let's figure out. Grades, perimeter defense, A+. Okay, so it does translate at least a little bit. 
Um, we give them Derek Lively, Joe Ingles, and then Tobias Harris. They're going to say no. They want two first-round picks, and they'll give us Myers Leonard. I don't have any interest in Myers Leonard whatsoever. I would be willing to give you one first-round pick, but specifically 2024, because we're good. They really want that second pick. Okay, instead of that second pick, I would be willing to give you this Knicks second, which is full one-star value. And they'll, they'll take a second, second-round pick. Again, I don't want Myers Leonard on my team. So there we go. Welcome to the squad, DeMarvelous DeRozan. So again, he's averaging 21 on the season. I'm sorry, 25.1 on the season. Joel's averaging 28. Tyrese Max is averaging 23. Chris Paul is averaging 11 and 10. And his three-point shot is back, y'all. It's been, a, it's been since 2016, 2017, he's been a 40% three-point shooter. is back. And then John Collins averaging at 16, which is his best season in the minute. He can't hit his three still, but I think that's fine. Dylan Brooks on the bench. He's shooting almost 40% from three. His per 36 numbers look amazing. So shout out to Dylan Brooks. Alex Caruso we just traded for. I can't believe we got Alex Caruso in that trade. Javon Carter was having an amazing year. So it feels weird that he's going to be like now a reserve. Because he was shooting 44% from the three-point line. But um, I think it's okay. Mostly because injuries are on. So with injuries on, um, I just don't... Oh my God, we got so many point guard minutes. Patrick Beverly shouldn't pe pe play. Um, with injuries being on, you know, one sprained ankle here. We already got an injury. How long are you out, DeAnthony? De Please don't be out forever. Uh, one or two weeks. All right, that ain't too bad. It says runs runs like a chest drawer. What, I, 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 okay, he's got a sprained, he's got a sprained knee. Um, but now I'm also interested in the backup four because we only have Utah to shoot on the team. And I didn't even look at the stats, but I feel like we could be doing better. So I'm going to go back and look at some of these rebuilding teams and figure out if they have... Um, or somebody selling teams if they have like Nazir Little on the bench would be kind of nice I'm adding Nazir Little and we don't have a lot of value to give them We have second round picks and his contract is kind of bigger than what we can afford right now But I think we have to explore every single option Aaron Neesmith is on a selling team He's so small at 6'5 that I don't even really see him as a four uh, Jalen Williams is here. Oops, Jalen Williams. Jalen Smith is here. Now, he's 6'9 and also can shoot it sometimes. I add him to the list. Right now, as far as contracts go, we got $5 million in Fort Con Cork Miles, who two years ago requested a trade, and, and nobody cared. Nobody paid attention to it. So, oh, wait. We might be able. That's $4 million. Okay, never mind. I was going to say we might be able to do this, but we won't. Um, I'd be willing to give in Jaden Springer to a potential trade for Nazir Little, who's also small. I kind of forget that he's only 6'5", but he, he plays so much bigger than 6'5". Who? Oh, you know who else I added to my list? The Detroit Pistons were selling, and they also have some fours here that are, like, viable. Um, Isaiah Stewart being one of them. And I'm going to – not for Jaden Ivey. I mean, I would take Jaden Ivey if you accept it, but I was thinking about Isaiah Stewart. They are going to say no, but this is where we use one of these seconds. Okay, I, I don't want to give up too much. So who was the last guy that we added to the list? It was going to talk to the Pacers about Jalen Smith and say, hey, he's got a player option for next year. I don't know if you're going to want him on your team, so I'll give you a second-round pick for him. I'll give you two second-round picks for him. All right, well, that's that's kind of a dead mission. Yeah, they want a first-round pick for this year. I just I can't in all likelihood get him that. I don't want to give up B-Ball Paul either. Uh, so are we running into this without a, a, a like a trustable four, a backup four? Like I, I feel like that's a position you need to fulfill. So actually, I haven't used trade finder in the traditional sense. So let's say four car cork moss and a second round pick. Who wants him? Derrick Jones Jr. We could have added him to the Bulls trade. He's also shorter at six six and he's averaging two PPG. But it's just because of lack of minutes, I guess. Derrick Jones Jr. is an option. Two second round picks. I guess I don't feel terrible about that. Orange Williams, welcome to the team. Um, I don't know why they would want um, that trade to happen. Am I gonna be the one that can play? Absolutely not, baby. I'm gonna get these minutes up to these top dudes because right now they're not even really playing. What the heck? All right. That was our deadline before the deadline. It's two weeks or a week and a half for four. We're going to see if these uh, maneuvers are going to help us do our thing. Joel Embiid is injured uh, one to two weeks, which ain't too bad, but he's been injured for a couple days. And I was like, why are we losing? Yep, yep, that's why. Uh, so our, our record might end up looking worse than what it should be, be because we had the injuries of Joel Embiid. And I, I desperately want home court advantage. I mean, the 76 have been in a lot of game sevens, it feels like. And a lot of them feel like they're on the road. So I would love to get home court advantage at least in the first round. Sheesh. Look at all of these teams that's competing right now. We helped build the Atlanta Hawks. They're the two seed. They, they tied basically for the one seed. So 
it's a, it's a, I'm just so good at GMing that I be GMing for other teams. John Moran won MVP. Uh, in real life, we don't even know if he's going to play this season uh, based on some stuff. Uh, Scoot Henderson wins Rookie of the Year. Six man goes to Ben Simmons. D DPOY goes to Giannis. Darius Garland wins Most Improved. And then Quinn Snyder wins Coach of the Year. Yeah, we real life built them that team. That's crazy. Um, oh, Joel Embiid did not make an All-NBA team at all. James Harden, they made an All-NBA team. Uh, did we pick the wrong guy? No, no. Dang, no. No, I mean, it could be because he spent some time on the injury list. But, like, how many games did you play, JoJo? Because you were averaging 27 and 13 is great numbers. And he, he only played 55 games. He only played 55 games. So, okay. You know what? That makes me feel a lot better. Because I was like, dang, did we even build a good team? Our star player missed 30-ish 30, like 30 games. He's healthy now. But for how long was the question? I don't know, man. Joel B got a history when it comes to this injury stuff. So, okay. Now we're going to the playoffs completely healthy. So, if we win, I feel good um, about our team. I want to take some minutes away from these bench guys because as much as we appreciate them, this is the time for the star players to do what they do best. And I understand. Now that I'm looking at this roster, I Chris Paul, who uh, uh, got a history when it comes to playoffs. DeMar Rosen, who has a history when it comes to playoffs. And Joel B who have a history when it comes to the playoffs. I, di I did not think about that as I made those trades. This is where we get rid of all of the history. All of our guys are tired. It's not ideal going into the playoffs, but I'm assuming that the other team has tired players. Who are we going against? We're going against this. <laughs> We're going against the Celtics in the first. They got Draymond Green? How did they get Draymond Green? What the heck? Oh, but seriously, though, weird. how did Lonnie Walker then join them after beating them? They traded Derek White. For Draymond Green. Wow. That's that's so interesting. I hate it for us because we got to now face Draymond Green, Marcus Smart, and Robert Williams. And, okay, they got Ayo DeSumo too. Dwight Powell. What the heck is happening in the simulation? So many players have switched teams. Al Horford is no longer here, so that's good for Joel's sake. DeMar DeRozan gave us a game, but it was not enough. Okay, our defense got to be better. Game two. We win. We take one of the games on the road, which is a huge sign. Tatum at 41, but he fouled out. Maxi, DeMar... Joel and John Collins carried heavily in this one. Um, okay, I I hate that. I mean, I love it, but I hate it that no, none of the role players stepped up. See, yeah, like there we go, Dylan Brooks. Thank you, Dylan. F uh, Fourteen points in twenty-one minutes is huge for us. On their side, what happened? Tatum struggled, but Brown carried, and it was not enough. We're up two-one in the series. Make that 3-1. And we do not have Doc Rivers. I want to remind you, we do not have Doc Rivers. They only put up 109 points, which is nothing in today's game. Joel Embiid even had a triple-double. He got to 10 assists. He was out there toying with the dudes. The Boston Celtics have had our number for a half of a decade. And we just got rid of all of that. Joel Embiid, huge gay closeout game. Six offensive boards in that one. DeMar DeRozan, huge in this series. 33-6-6 six six for DeMar DeRozan in this series. He even shot 41% from the three. He's attempting threes in this universe. Next, we go to the Cleveland Cavaliers, who, of course, y'all know 2K Sim Cleveland Cavaliers are elite. They even brought in Kyle Kuzma somehow. Don't ask me. Don't ask me how. Because I'm my How? Actually, I'm asking them. How did you end up with Kyle Kuzma? Uh, they, they signed him. They signed him? How did, what did you sign for? 355? How did you have the money? To sign somebody for 355. I have no idea. This is not a team that had money, that has money. I don't know. They didn't they didn't they investigate them. Game one. See, I see, I knew I, again, I'm I'm jumping on a little bit. I knew we built a good team. We was just injured all year long. And guess what? We here now. Game two. Okay. Again, we took home court advantage. We're happy with that. They took it right back. Joel almost had 50, and, and our defense was so poor. We gave him 133 points. 2-2, two, two. that's a huge game. And now we go back into uh, Cleveland for this one. We go back into Cleveland for game five that we lose. Oh, that's a tough, tough one, man. That's a tough, tough. We might have to shorten our rotation in even more. I mean, Chris Paul is barely playing right now, low-key. Um, I'm going to take B-Ball Paul's minutes away. I know he's already upset about it, but like we have to give DeMar 40, Tyrese, we should have had them at 40 anyway, if I'm being honest with you. And John Collins is playing through an injury. And he's playing well and very good in the playoffs right now. But now he's injured. What type of injury are we talking? Lower back bruise, that ain't too bad. Only problem with this team is if we don't win this year, we got more questions to answer with the team being old with Chris Paul and DeMar DeRozan. 
But that's that's for if we if we don't win. The goal is to win. If we don't win this game, obviously there is no winning. And we go up by a ton. That should be enough. It's a nine-point game right now with a minute to go. Okay, we force a game seven, which means that we're going back to Cleveland for it. I mean, this is a well-rounded game. Kenny Hustle gave us 10. Dylan Brooks gave us 11. And guess what? Dylan Brooks is, is efficient. You know, he, he saw all of the, the comments and stuff about him. Okay, he's not shooting the ball three-point well. But he saw all of the comments after the last year's series. He's rejuvenated. He's ready to contribute to winning basketball. And that's what we're doing. I knew it was over for Dylan Brooks when Draymond Green went on this podcast and told Dylan Brooks, the dynasty starts after after they get rid of you. And I was like, ouch. I felt that. And I ain't got no I ain't got no stake in Dylan Brooks' career. I felt that when it's a close game. It's a little bit too close. Six-point game, four-point game. The boys just pull off the comeback. And Joel had a stinker. We're going to look past that because the marvelous DeRozan is here. John Collins. 40 minutes. He had a back problem two days ago, and he gave us 40 quality minutes. And yeah, he probably shouldn't be taking this many shots, but who cares? He did it, and now we're going against we're we're, <laughs> we're going against a team that we helped build. I I honestly think I did an amazing job in that first trade. All three of the teams involved in that first trade are in the conference finals right now. This is the furthest Joel Embiid has ever been in his career. First of all, so that's automatically a dub. Game one, we take home court advantage immediately. Joel Embiid. Yeah, you saw what Jokic was doing to DeAndre Aiden. You ain't, he don't put no fear in your heart, do we, Joel? Okay, you not struggled, but that ain't shooting. Only four free throws. 2K, Sim, Joel, don't get to the line. Oh, we're up 3-0. All right, we're in the finals, right? We just swept them. Oh, my God. If, if we was healthy, we would be one seed. I swear, if, if Joel and B would have played 70 games instead of 55 games, we would have been the one seed. And now we're going to get Steph Curry and them, who told the world the dynasty ain't over. We just got rid of Draymond Green, and now we're back in the finals. Because that's what they did. They got rid of Draymond Green and they're back in the finals. Now, their starting center is still Kaminga. I'm sorry, it's still Looney. They got Kaminga in the lineup. But I think I also saw, um, who else was on their roster? Let me go to their game log again. They also, yeah, Drummond is on the team. Lonnie Walker's on the team. Derek White is on the team. And so they'd have reformulated. Even GP the second is still here, but he don't play. He's perfect on the field when he do, but he don't play. Here we go. Game one. We t <laughs> this is what I'm here for, man. Quick turnaround. Game two. Warriors who? 50. 50 piece for Joel Embiid in the game two. Stop playing with him. He can do that. Game three. This oh, the series is over. The series is over. The series is over. The marvelous DeRozan. We got rid of all of the Chris Paul CP0 stuff. We got rid of DeMar DeFrozen. And we got rid of Joel Embiid's nickname, who I don't know if people have, have figured it out yet. Joel Embiid averaged 30, 16, and 7. Shot 47% from 3, 56% from the field, and two blocks in that game, in that uh, series. And is Chris Paul going to retire? No, but Al Horford will. Oh, Al Horford was on that Celtics team? He had to be injured or something. He had to be injured, bro, because I, did not, I do not remember him playing. He played all 82. Never mind. <laughs> He played all the, I mean, he could have been injured in the playoffs, but he played all 82 in the regular season. Yo, we just did it. We just did it. With this this ragtag group of dudes, Tyrese Maxey even got a sore knee right now. You can rest up, my boy. You're an NBA champion. You're an NBA champion. If you're enjoying the video, be sure to leave it a like. Uh, 76 is fans. I did it for y'all. Just one year of a rebuild, a couple different trades. I'm very intrigued with the trade that I did, though. It's not realistic, I don't think, but I think everybody walked out on top. Three of those four, three, all three of those teams ended up in the conference finals. That's a dub. Leave a like, subscribe, I'll see y'all tomorrow.